Definitely World. free. Yeah. Free. All right, so we're Who's getting arguing. Uh, yeah, no, I'm looking around. No. Yep. <laughs> Looks like everyone in the venue is in, in consent here. <gasps> no. Is he actually going to lock in Palutena? Is he going to do it? Hit the button. Hit, Hit the button, do the Buzz. It. Do it. <laughs> he's like sensing up. Oh man, he's like thinking about it, looking at his controller. Okay, oh, are there? Here we the, go. <laughs> he pressed the big green button. We got Palutena. He's gonna do a lot more of pressing that big green button. Of course, the Palutena Nair, an amazing, amazing move. Does it all. That's right. I mean, what's when you have a shield, out of shield move that can hit in front of you, behind you, multi hit carries your opponent with you. What more do you need? Yeah, this character <laughs> is. Uh, Quite the force to be reckoned with, of course, the best Palutena in the world being Nairo. Um, pilots the character very, very well. Um, and of course, uh, I, I just feel like Palutena is a very good pocket character as well. She's not too complicated, and she just does an amazing job against some of these like mid characters or obscure characters, you know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely the character in this in Smash Ultimate who invalidates the cast yes. with her tools. Yeah. I mean, obviously she doesn't like destroy all the top tiers, but she most of the time she goes even with a, a good amount of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're interested in getting into competitive play and you're looking for somewhere to somewhere to start, Palutena is a good start. Oh uh, yeah. Lucina also a good start. Yeah, like some more of those more of those simple characters. Mm -hmm. Try to catch them with the explosive flame, the drop down there. A very good edge guarding tool, and of course Link, Ooh. not the best recovery. But with the bomb recovery, he it's pretty good. Right here, we're going to see it in action. Going to blow himself up and go right for the tech. But <laughs> the buzz just waits it out. But, man, T is still alive here. Yeah, 150% Nair at the ledge isn't going to kill. What? Back air from across stage, not enough either. As you can see, the buzz is fishing. Dash attack will be enough. Yeah. I mean, at that point, everything from Ball is just going to end <laughs> up killing, right? And that's the thing about Paul Atena, too. If you're like last stock, last hit situation, both players at like 150. Oh, we we taking um, them left the reverse. right. Okay, all right. Oh, let me take you for a ride. Yeah, and I mean, I I always say this, but Paul Tain up air man, best sword move in the game. That thing outranges a lot of moves, and it's really hard to contest it when you're trying to land, right? I'm so. pretty sure they just took Cloud's up air and gave it to Palutena. Yeah, yeah, Smash Four Cloud up air. Yeah, it's like, yo, I and think you, Palutena needs some stuff. Here's a sword. Man, and right now T just trying to get his footing. The Buzz with such a solid lead right now. Fair into the explosive flame. Uh, T getting flown back a little bit too far for that to work, but the pressure is still on here for the Buzz. I like the way the Buzz is using Nero to shield. He's drifting back just in case all the hits do in fact land on uh, T's shield. He can just continue to drift back with. He shield pokes and he drifts back in and he starts to get the combos. Okay, no double jump here on the Buzz, and just like that, the Buzz forced to use the up B early, and T with the reactions, hitting him with the Nair, gonna take that first stop. Yo, send that boomerang back, and let's have a little bit of extra damage with Auto Reticle. Look at all these close range projectiles coming from T. He's trying to convert off, uh, like, boomerang from five inches. Nice DI there, or not DI, but um, air dodge, neutral air dodge to get away. But this back throw might be it. Yes, it is. And just like that, the buzz not even taking 10% on that second stock. He's so patient, just maintaining his position at the ledge. Like while T was recovering high and forced to recover low, pretty much bobbing and weaving around the buzz's uh, projectiles. Uh, the buzz just stood in one spot and waited for him to roll. He's like, I, from here, I have your get up, I have your jump, I have your roll. Pick an option. I got you. And just like that, the buzz lines one there. Gets a solid 50 to 60 damage. And does that combo look at look as easy as it looks, or is it as easy as it looks? The answer is yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, I was I was hoping for some like in-depth analysis, and you know, you really got to drift back at this position. You got like three frames for it. No, it's just nah. you just push the button, huh? Nair, nair, up air, up air. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Yep. Very, very efficient, very, very simple. And I mean, that's Palutena in a nutshell. I mean, she looks aesthetically cool to like watch and use. But yeah, just very simple, very effective character. Mm. And essentially, if you got the fundamentals to back it up, you'll be very success successful with the character. Yeah, DeBuzz definitely a person who uh, excels at fundamentals. Mm. You know, oh, yeah. Playing this game for how long? Yeah, really, the only tech you have to learn with Palutena is the uh, teleport cancels. Mm -hmm. Th those can be a, a little tricky, but you just hit the lab and grind it out. You that's know? true. Definitely practice that in the training room uh, because those platforms will always follow the same routine. You know, most of them are stationary. All right, so no reason for the buzz to switch here, but I wonder, looks like, I mean, I would assume I've pretty much seen Breath of the Wild Link all day from T, so I don't really see him switching in any other character. He's definitely thinking about it. He's 
He might just not even be thinking about the character, just what adjustments he needs to make here in game two to yeah. uh, really avoid all these Nair shenanigans coming out from DeBuzz. Yeah, and T actually, we even forgot to mention this, but the uh, the reasons why he's so far in the winner's bracket is he got an upset himself. That's he defeated right. Zach Ray, one of the top seeds for this tournament. Definitely a top like four or five seed for this tournament, and I'm pretty sure he definitely didn't want to do that. I'm, wanted, I'm pretty sure he wanted up here, not up here. <laughs> well, regardless, uh, Sometimes yeah. you fat finger, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all human, that happens. But yeah, I mean, just overcoming Zachary. And if you didn't get a chance to see that set, check out the YouTube link. It's going to be uploaded to YouTube if it isn't already. So you can check out how T made it this far. But yeah, land that bear. What a call out from T. Just straight up called out that double jump and killed that man at 107%, T Fly. Like, damn. Yeah, full control coming to T. And look at that back air into grab. Even taking on a little bit of extra damage with the up tilt and retreating back to neutral. Look at all this pressure coming out from T, just full control. And now the buzz is actually in a situation where he has to come into TT. Obviously has projectiles being Breath of the Wild Link, mm -hmm. so he's gonna have a lot of things to kind of zone the buzz out. But man, he's still getting pretty aggressive with these dash grabs though. Yeah, especially at the ledge, you know, the buzz is gonna feel really confident and patient uh, because he knows that as soon wow. as as soon as T touches the shield, we're gonna see the nair come out. Okay, okay, like, the buzz. You kind of get bibbity bop right now. <laughs> like, yeah, three socks to one. Yeah, <laughs> he's killed him at around a hundred like twice in a row. Like that, that's pretty hard to do. Honestly, it's like the setups that we're seeing from T uh, when the buzz is at the ledge. He's going for grabs more often uh, because the buzz is sitting in shield so often. Right now, the buzz has the percent, but can he uh, finish off T? And we've seen T live very, very long. Mm -hmm. His back throw center stage is not going to be quite it, but can he finish the edge guard off? The bomb Whoa. recovery tries to catch it, but just a little bit off the mark there for the buzz. That's right. The buzz was, in fact, looking for the catch. We're going to see another forward throw. It's putting the buzz in the perfect position, trying to follow up with the forward air. But look at these fishing for back ears. Fishing for back ears. The Buzz trying to get something started, and every time the Buzz tries to come in for an aerial, just feels like T knows exactly when and where he wants to come in with, mm -hmm. and swats him out. Like, kind of just beats him to the punch. Okay, forward air is at the ledge. He's cocking the Buzz a couple times already. The Buzz can't get in, bro. <laughs> this is, okay, finally the backer, but he's living. Can the Buzz get the nair to finish him off? No oh, way! Oh, the reverse! No way! The three! Damn! Oh. Damn, you just got sauced. Oh, man! Not like that, not in front of oh. everyone! Yo, wait, who you trying to edge guard though? You trying to edge guard me? Nah, nah, nah. You get, you're gonna get three stocked right here. Hold that. Not this hero. Damn. Not this time. All right, all right. So, are we gonna see the swift switch off Politana? I, I kind of feel like you. After that, like, oh, it's, I, if you have if you have confidence in your character after getting three stocked like that, props to you, bro. My confidence tank would be on empty with that character. I mean, that's kind of the downside of playing more than one character, right? You. If you only play, if you're a character loyalist, you have one character, you get three stock, guess what? You're going to pick the same character. <laughs> you have no choice. You, you got no one else. <laughs> so you're going to stick it out with your main. It's ride or die. Yeah, yeah. The Buzz, he's got three characters they can bring out in the tournament. And Ooh. you know what? Let's put the wand away, put the way to wings. Let's bring out that Pikmin army. All right, Paul Zana got a game. Yeah. Something to be proud of. But like we said before, uh, I mean, probably the Buzz's most used character is going to be Olimar. Especially like this season, right? Mm -hmm. Even after the nerfs, uh, Olimar still finding success within the uh, competitive area. Yeah, well, I'm really curious to see like how, because oh, like the, the entire time we were theory crafting like what this set was gonna look like, we constantly said like that the buzz is going to be having difficulty making it back to stage, getting off the ledge, and we're starting to see that come to fruition. You guys haven't noticed, uh, Link Nair is a very good move. I'm pretty sure T has done it like at least 15 times already this game. I mean, I think I just saw seven up airs <laughs> from the buzz though. So. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, uh, up air. I mean, a lot of Olimar's aerials there. They're pretty much sword moves now. In the previous game, they weren't like that, but now they have the pretty much like sword properties. But two purples online on Olimar, definitely a character that gets more powerful as time goes on because the lineup gets stronger, right? Right. And it, uh, Olimar does pull Pikmin in a, in a specific order. So the, the purple Pikmin are the best. Right now we got two purple Pikmin online here for the buzz. We're gonna try Ooh, to fly okay. one out, but I like the Nair to contest it. Yeah, you're using the projectile properties, making sure you just clank. Going to see the bomb recovery. Up smash, hero spin, what? Yeah, right out of shield. That's uh, pretty much Link's fastest out of shield option to my knowledge. Um, you don't have and to go the flashiest. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And 
He's gonna get himself back in the game. He's got a full tank of rage pretty much on T. The buzz is in <laughs> well in kill percent. I love how T just full hop and then fast ball there. He's like, yo, I know your hitbox is trash. It's gonna pop out of the shield. I'm gonna shield poke you. This is gonna happen. <laughs> Link, or I mean, T is doing such an amazing job of calling out when the buzz wants to jump when he's feeling pressure. Mm -hmm. Right there, we saw T on that last stock. He fared his shield, waited like half a second, and was like, all right, and now you're gonna jump. Yeah, but the blue Pikmin coming in clutch. You did your job, now get back <laughs> into the zone. <laughs> to the shadows with you. <laughs> to the shadow realm with you. <laughs> right now, T opting to go for the air dodge this time on the juggle, because uh, can't really contest that up air coming out from Olimar. Mm -hmm. I think he learned that, but I think before he had already committed to air dodge one time and he saw just how much damage he took. Because he did get hit like at a lower position, which is right. the buzz. You know, but started that up air, up air and up air. And he is so good at spacing this Link forward air. And I mean, he's, he was really good at it in Smash 4 as well. I mean, one of Link's more powerful moves is going to be that forward air. Oh. Two hit as well. So you just see how much area T is covering up high. And the jump call out again with the fair. He just has control of this air-to-air -air combat here. And I don't know if the buzz is going to have an answer. He's got to come up with one soon. Well, roll behind is not the answer because T was ready. And that up tilt comforts both sides. Cover is like dang front, that back and up, bro. That Nair took the whole squad out. He he took out two Pikmin and hit Olimar, man. Talk about value. Yo, I thought like Ganon was the evil one. What kind of <laughs> what kind of life body count is this Link racking up? <laughs> yeah, he's out here slaying, man. And that Nair, T keeps on doing it, but it might be the bane of him. Oh, but he gets past the purple Pikmin. Is he gonna drop down? Okay, he did try and do it. He went for it, but free fall, easiest up smash, and now man, so still in a recovery damage. situation. Good whistle. Otherwise, 70. the damage would have kept coming. Look at that, 70% already on the buzz, and T has the rage. The buzz is actually in kill percent. If he gets any kind of really strong hit, like a fair by the edge, or any kind of smash attack, he's just a goner. Okay, well, now the buzz has the stage control. Using the bomber covering, gets the, gets the launch this time. All right, this time, getting all the angles, getting all the geometry calculations on point this time, and uh, I'm going to take that stock. I mean, oh, there was definitely smash. a lot of calculations right there. This man, the buzz, got a degree in economics. He was calculating those angles. Galaxy Brain? Yo, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, isn't, he isn't wear that, that Avengers logo for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right now, the Buzz slowly but surely bringing this back. The up, or up B out of shield, though. Is, wait, is, not enough. he's alive. He's he alive. Is, he is, in fact, alive. The directional air dodge was expended. Down smash is going to get beaten out by the Purple Pigment. Wow, the Purple Pigment like, got the Buzz out of that really sticky situation. The up air beating out the forward air gets under him, but the Nair prevailing here for T. Can he finish off the stalk on the ledge here? Oh, wow, and another oh, roll gets caught, and T popping off with a fist bump. And a fist in the air, constantly popping off. We got 2-1 T. Look at him, he's still going. He's still popping off, man. If, it, if anyone's used to it, it's the buzz. Everyone loves popping off on, <laughs> on my boy, the buzz. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, man, it's the truth. I, it is the truth. You know what that means, though? It means, it you're, means good. you're really good. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like, you are very good. You are very consistent, um, and not a lot of people can beat you so when they, when they do they, they're bopping off all right well game four two one t's advantage and we're going back to final destination yeah it looks like the buzz uh i mean pretty much it was the stage we had last time right mm -hmm. so just gonna stay with this counter pick here I'm gonna stick it with the olimar I, I definitely don't see the politana coming out for the rest of this set mm -hmm. definitely not rosalina not Kevin. coming either yeah i mean we might have seen the rosa come out here but Looks like he's just sticking out with Olimar at this point. If you lose with Olimar, you just stick with your comfort pick and see how it pans out. Yes, exactly. And that game was really close, too, to be fair. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I definitely don't see it. I mean, there switch. were moments where T just you know, completely destroyed the buzz. But, but the buzz did the same thing back to T. Yeah. You know, when you land seven, eight up airs in a row, that's nothing to laugh at. You got to watch how you pressure this shield, though. The up B out of shield, it, it could be the death of you, the buzz. Especially when you're getting like a cross up and you're crossing up towards the blast zone. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> and you're as light as Olimar, right? Mm -hmm. So But I mean, how else is the buzz gonna get through this forward air? I feel like he's just trying to catch all these certain angles and try at least try to keep him grounded in shield, but man, it's just so tough. T just looks like he has all the bases covered. I mean, even right there, we saw the Buzz reach in with the White Pikmin. He threw a White Pikmin to try and last one on the T. T answered with the Boomerang. Boomerang actually clashed with the White Pikmin, but you know, the Buzz, still a strong player, able to pick up the stock. Oh, man, and just gets the revenge stock right there. But I do like how the Buzz answered with some of the fair spacing. He was like, you know what? I'm a short character. I'm going to get right up under you and just hit you with the up air. Mm -hmm. 
And even these up airs, they seem to be like clanking and sometimes we just see a trade. Rarely do we see DeBuzz just win with up air if he's challenging. Yeah, he's gonna kind of have to throw it out a little earlier just because Nair is so quick. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he's just getting caught like before his up air hitbox comes out. Okay, down throw into forward air. Let's see what Pikmin are gonna come out. This Going damage lead looks really good for DeBuzz, but is it is it that big of a lead? Because Link's so heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Link's heavy. He's gonna take a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of those numbers to to make sure that he makes it far enough to the buzz zone. Yeah, just because Link's in the triple digits doesn't mean too much. But right now, the buzz trying to hunt him down 140 percent on T. Finally gets down to the ground, hits him with the hero spin, but not the strong hit. That's right. We're seeing more more bombs being thrown at the buzz. Forward air clashed him with a purple pick. Wow. Ooh, that was so close to hitting. Another sour spot on the hero spin. Tries to get the forward tilt, but not quite reaching. And the call out on the jump, but he's still alive. Okay, yeah. Forced to nair. He had to nair right there in order to get the clash. The air dodge would not have been smart. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now the buzz with the lead. Racking up some damage as well. We'll see if T can just get this quick revenge stock, or is the buzz going to keep riding this momentum, getting this damage? I guess not. Yep, but not before taking 58%. He did only get hit a few times, but guess what? The damage output from Olimar is insane. And yeah. as you can see, Matter of seconds, 60%. Oh, yeah, you connect that up smash, you connect that up air, usually going to lead to other up moves, <laughs> like up air and up smash. But. <laughs> moves that have the word air in them. <laughs> <laughs> he try, throws the purple, tries to go high here. T, not, I mean, Breath of the Wild Link, not the fastest on the ground, so sometimes it's going to be a little harder for T to catch those landings, right? Yeah, narrowing at the ledge. If, uh, if the bus had even pushed a little bit forward, he would have been in the, in the danger zone. Okay, toss that bomb. I'm very surprised we're not seeing uh, the bomb ledge traps coming out from T. Usually a lot of links will bring out the uh, the down B bomb and they'll bounce it on the ground by normal getup, but T kind of opting to just like fling out fares or forward tilts and catch kind of like vanilla ledge trapping without setup. I very interesting. It feels like the T's using the bombs a little bit more for uh, positioning. He's for throwing it off stage to force uh, the buzz to go either high or to the ledge. And then he goes for the lead trap from that point. There's the Ooh, bomb explosion. He almost sniped him out of the air. Oh, pivot up tilt. Oh, the pop oh, 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 Again, the oh, 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 Again, the bus didn't pop off on T. Good stuff. Uh, awesome. Paul Tana, very, very impressive. He's now from Japan. Very on The best, best lead player in the world. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my. Mike just beat Zachary. And just like that, wow, people are dropping like flies out here, Z-Fly. Oh, you can never, you never know what to expect out of Saga. This I'm tournament sorry. is too